Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tushar and today's topic of discussion is in front of you. Just by looking at this x-ray, what is the one diagnosis, radiological diagnosis that comes to your mind? I'm sure you all can see femur, I'm sure you all can see tibia, you all can see fibula, this is lateral, this is medial. We can see the lateral joint space. We cannot see the medial joint space. There's a reduction of the medial joint space. Well, I'm sure it's a radiological spotter and by now you all must have understood that we are dealing with a topic here called as osteoarthritis which is which is better called as now degenerative joint disease well primarily an old age problem a senility a senescence a aging a wear and tear related issue where the primary layer which is involved in the pathogenesis is what is called as articular cartilage not only we involve articular cartilage here but we have to look at certain obvious radiological signs the first x-ray sign as you all can see which is clearly seen in front of you is reduction in the joint space now this reduction in the joint space is an asymmetric reduction where you can see that medial narrowing occurs earlier and more as compared compared to lateral which we all can see a few more x-ray signs which are associated with this apart from asymmetric reduction of the joint space the next thing that you see in chronology is what is called as an osteophyte i'm sure you all can see this bony spurs bony spicules they're called as osteophyte the problem with an osteophyte is that one day they might get broken and they might to come to lie inside the knee joint and become a loose body I'm sure by now you all must be aware of the fact that any bone that looks a little more white on an x-ray is called sclerosis. So if you see then this bone is a little extra white here and since it is just beneath the cartilage, we call it subchondral sclerosis. I'm sure you all can see a fluid filled cavity in this area and a fluid filled cavity is what is called as cyst formation which is just below the cartilage that is subchondral cyst formation. So this is how the chronology of x-ray signs happen. Few one-liners associated with this topic. Well most common joint knee but if not knee then what then hip if not hip then what spine. Are any small joints involved? Yes, even small joints are also involved. First, carpometacarpal joint involved. First, metatarsophalangeal joint involved. PIP joint and DIP joint are also involved. The proximal and the distal interphalangeal joint. In knee, most common bone is patella. No, it's not femur, it's not tibia, it is patella. The most common muscle, quadriceps femoris, which part? Vastus medialis, which part? Vastus medialis obliquus. The first muscle to undergo degeneration and atrophy is VMO. The most common symptom is pain, and believe me, it's not only the most common symptom, this is the only, this is the only absolute indication for doing TKR in a patient total knee replacement. The most common deformity that you see is genuverum. Let me show you the genuverum. So this is the genuverum. There are other deformities as well that we see in the PIP and the DIP. In the PIP, we see Baucard node. The DIP, we see Herberton node. When I was preparing like you, it actually was a difficult task for me to remember which one is PIP, which one is DIP, which deformity is what. So I kind of made a mnemonic for myself in those days like blood pressure leads to heart disease. You know, for old age, it looks like to be an apt as well. Blood pressure leads to heart disease. B. Baucard, B. PIP, H. Her burden, D. DIP. So this was a quick recap on this topic of osteoarthritis where we discussed some of the highest yielding MCQs from this topic. Well, stay tuned to more videos on this YouTube channel. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. God bless.